And welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing this brand new die set called the Magic Color Slider. And this interactive die is so cool. I am so in love with this die. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to put it together and also three different ways of using it. So there's a ton of stuff in this video and it's so much fun. But first of all, I want to show you what this die actually does. And it creates this amazing magic color slider where you can color in images just by pulling the tab. And I can't get over how cool this is. So let's go ahead and check this die out. So first up, we have the pocket creator die, and you'll see that it creates two little embossed lines and then a cut line in the center of this pocket. So you can see that we've got the cut line in the middle and then the two little embossed lines at the end. And so you're just gonna fold this pocket in half, and that's the first thing you need to do to start creating the magic color slider. Now this little rectangle die helps you cut your acetate piece that's gonna go also in the slider. This die here cuts the track, and this die cuts the pull tab and also some cute little decorative tabs that you can add to the top. We also have a cute little banner and a scripty hello too. Now here you'll see on that main pocket die, there's a little extra piece of metal on one side. That's to tell you that that's the front of the slider and that's where you're gonna drop in your different openings. And we have three different styles. Here we have the little rectangle opening. And then next up, I have the oval, which I'm gonna hold in place with some washi tape right in the die. And this way I could cut a bunch of them all at once because it's gonna hold that oval in the perfect place. So I just have to run it through the die cut machine one way like this. And then in this case, I'm just gonna add a little tick mark so I know which one is the front of the pocket. I'll run it through my die cut machine and then I can line up my heart on that piece that had that little tick mark, run it through, and now I've got my heart shaped opening too. So those are just three different ways that you can run your dies through your machine to create these cool pockets, which can work both standing up like this and on their sides too for a different look. So now we're gonna go over the assembly of this die. So I've folded my piece in half, and now I'm gonna take some 1 8 inch score tape and go all the way around the opening that I've cut out of that piece. I'm gonna peel off all of that liner tape and then add my acetate piece to the back of that opening, creating a really cool little window there. Next, I'm gonna take my little tab slider and insert it into the opening that the die created for me. And I'm just gonna move that back and forth just a little bit, just to get it really moving nicely in the die before I assemble the whole thing. Now here I have that U-shaped track, and I'm gonna put this 1 8 inch score tape again all the way around. I like this tape because it's nice and strong. I'm gonna put it all the way around one side and then all the way around the other side too. Something like Stick It could work really well for this too. So now that I've got my tape on both sides, I can start to peel off the lining of just one of those sides. Now you're gonna see that this U is pretty flexible. It can easily kind of bend in and out. Because of that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that little end of that tab to make it as our guide for where this little U shape needs to go. And that means your U shape is gonna be in the perfect place. So I'm gonna line it up with that edge and you kinda of have to get right over it. And then now you'll see I'm lining it up right with that outer edge of that tab. And then I'm gonna press that down. And now that U shape is in the perfect position because we use the tab to guide us as to where we need to go. Now I'm gonna peel off all of the rest of the liner tape. And all I need to do is just close that, just kinda of close it just like a book line it right up there and now you'll see that we have a functioning slider and it's actually really really easy to put together once you do it once you got it down now that we've gone over the assembly for this we're going to finally make a card with this which i'm so excited about so here i've got my little opening there in my perfect place i've got it all taped in so i can make a ton of these so i'm going to cut it out of some white and also out of some raspberry cardstock now, the next thing we need to do is stamp. And as you can tell, if you cut the pocket out of something that isn't white, you can't really stamp and color on it. So we have to put some white cardstock in there. So I've actually cut a second pocket and I'm just gonna trim off the edges. And this is a quick way to get your white piece because it'll kind of be perfectly sized for it. But honestly, my favorite way is to just trim it down really quick in my paper trimmer. So I trim it just a little bit smaller than three by three and a half. And you'll see that this piece now is going to be a perfect fit. So any colored cardstock you use, all you need to do is just drop in that white cardstock and you can use any color that you can think of. 
Now let's say you just wanted to make a white pocket. A really cool way to decorate it is to use that acetate cutting die and actually cut the same opening from that. And it's actually this really clever decoration. So you can either use your colored cardstock with white on the inside or use white cardstock and decorate the outside of the white cardstock. In this case, I'm going to put my little white piece right on the inside of my raspberry pocket. Once that's in place, I'm going to close my pocket and just hold it closed with some post-it note tape on either side. And I'm going to use my MISTI tool to do some stamping. So I'm going to line up that giraffe right there perfectly in the middle. And I am going to stamp with some jet black ink so that I can do some Copic coloring on this giraffe. Now the other thing I need to stamp is the acetate. So I'm going to take my little acetate piece that I cut with my die. I'm going to center the giraffe on that and I'm going to pick it up in my MISTI. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use stays on black ink. This is very important. Stays on ink stays on. It works really well on slick surfaces. So I'm going to stamp in that stays on ink and just press down really really well you'll see i'm giving that ink a lot of time to transfer and because i have the misty tool i can actually stamp it again which i really like doing with stays on ink because sometimes it doesn't come out perfectly because it's kind of a funky ink um, another thing you can do is take a black copic marker or black sharpie and fix any little edges that may not have kind of stamped perfectly since the stays on can be a little funky sometimes now I'm going to quickly color in this cute little giraffe here, which is from one of our new sets, Wild For You. And I'm also gonna color in a background for this giraffe too. So I'm making like nice little quick strokes to kind of look like grass on the bottom. And then I'm gonna create a cool little gradient sky with my markers too. Um, and I really like using my markers to color in the skies for these. I think it looks really cool and that gradient look looks really cool for the sliders. Now we're gonna do the same thing we did earlier when we were learning to build the whole thing. We're gonna add the score tape around the opening and peel off all that liner tape. But now we've added one more step because we added stamping. So we're gonna take that acetate piece and some post-it note tape or any kind of low tack tape like washi tape and we're gonna line up that acetate piece. And you'll see you can kind of move it around and you'll see when it lines up perfectly because the lines will appear the thinnest when it's perfectly lined up. I'm now holding that in place with the post-it note tape while I close my pocket like a book. I'm going to press down really well and here you'll see that it's going to be picking up that acetate piece, the adhesive, and you can just pull those little post-it note pieces out that were helping hold it in place. And now you'll see that it perfectly lines up. After stamping a pull here, there on my tab, I'm going to insert the tab into the pocket and move it back and forth again just to make sure it's moving really well before I build the whole thing. Here you'll see that I've cut the U-shaped track piece out of some raspberry cardstock. And that's because you want the track to be the same weight paper as your pocket. So I always like to cut it, and it also looks really nice and seamless out of the same paper. And here you'll see I'm lining it up again, once again, with those outside edges of that tab, holding it in place. I'm going to peel up all of that liner tape, and then I'm going to close it like a book, just like we did earlier. And now you'll see that the pocket has been created and the magic is going to happen. Like this is so much fun. I just sit here and move these back and forth all day because I just think it's the coolest thing ever. So I'm going to move it back and forth and then finally get work working on finishing the whole card. So I'm stamping an It's Been Too Long sentiment, which is really cute with the giraffe. And I'm going to cut it with one of our Everyday Sentiment banners. And then I'll go ahead and layer that on with some foam tape onto my cute little pocket. Next, I'm going to trim down some pattern paper to three and a quarter by three and seven eighths and create a coordinating card base to match it. And then all I need to do is layer all of my pieces. I really like keeping my little card base really kind of basic so that the pocket is really the star of the show. This magic slider is what really wows everyone. And then here is the finished card. And this is it's just so cool. It's so fun. And I love how simple it is. There's a lot of steps, but one, it's one of those things. Once you do it once, it's really easy to do. And this card just packs a lot of punch. It's really, really cool. Now, remember earlier where I was talking about how you could just do a plain white pocket and then decorate that? So I wanted to show you that version. So here I'm going to layer on my little frame there with some foam tape, and I can go ahead and add a sentiment to it too. And so you'll see it's the same idea, but just a little bit of a different decoration, which is kind of fun. So I love that you can kind of do it both ways. 
So next up, we're going to do a little bit of a stepped up version here of a magic slider. So I'm going to line up my pocket there and my rectangle window. I'm going to fold that down and to this Blue Jay cardstock, I really want it to look like a night sky. So I'm going to take some black soot distress ink and just go around the edges of this Blue Jay cardstock. And that's really going to give it kind of this cool night sky look. I'll also make sure to fold the pocket and get that edge too. So it has a nice look all the way around. Next up, I'm gonna trim my little piece. It's a little bit smaller than three and a half by three inches, my white piece to fit inside there. But instead of gluing it down right at the beginning, I'm actually gonna decorate it separately and you'll see why in a second. So what I'm gonna do is just take my pencil and make a light pencil line all the way around that rectangle edge. So I know exactly where my stamping and decorating needs to be for this magic color slider. Then I'm going to quickly stamp out a guide using Upon a Star, one of our new sets, so I kind of know what I'm going for as I start to decorate. So now I'm going to stamp my little critters there with my Misty on my white piece. Then I'm going to die cut my acetate piece and I'm going to lay that piece right on top of the white piece and use my magnet to hold it in place. This is so that that way I've already got my stamp set up on my Misty so I can stamp them in the same exact place on my acetate piece too. So I'm going to take my stays on ink, which is really important for stamping on the acetate, ink up those cute little critters and now I can stamp them on the acetate piece to match the white piece. So you'll see there I'm pressing really well, really giving that ink a chance to transfer and you can see just how nice it looks. It looks gorgeous. Now next up I need to create a mask for both of my critters. So I'm using some post-it note tape. I love this stuff. It's so awesome. And I am stamping on it with some black ink both of my critters and I'm just going to cut those out right along the kind of the outside edge of the black line. So I'm just going to trim right around and then repeat the same thing for the fox. And now I have a removable mask that I can use to cover up my critters to protect them while I create my night sky. Now to create my night sky, I'm going to be using some Blue Jay and Peacock ink and I will be using some black soot too. And so I've got my foaming blending tools there and I'm just going to blend right on to that piece and I can blend right over those critters since we have that mask. I'm going to put the Blue Jay at the bottom, the Peacock at the top, and then I'm going to blend the two colors back and forth across the point where they meet. And you can see how beautiful that looks with just two ink colors. Now that I've got that all set, I'm going to put this piece in my Misty again. And now I'm going to use that piece we stamped earlier that was kind of like our guide of, okay, I think this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use that as a guide as to where to place all my constellations. So now that I've got those all in place, I can kind of make sure they're exactly perfect. I can pick them up with my Misty and I'll be ready to stamp them all at once. Now I want to heat emboss these stars. So I'm gonna use my EK Success Powder tool here to make sure that no embossing powder is gonna stick anywhere but the Versamark ink that we're gonna stamp with. So I'll ink up all of those cute little constellations and then just flip my Misty over and stamp those right in place. I can even hold those there and do a bunch of these cards even. Now I thought that wasn't quite enough stars so I went ahead and started stamping some more and then I'm going to add my um, silver heat embossing powder right on top of that Versamark ink and it's super sticky so it's going to hold that powder and then I'm going to heat it up and you'll have these beautiful shiny silver stars that are just gorgeous. Now this is my favorite part. I love revealing the mask. So I'm going to peel up that mask and now these guys are revealed and so we can add some quick color to them. I'm going to use some Copic markers to do that. So I'm just going to add some quick shading. And you'll see there that there's a little bit of extra white around the critters. I, I guess I just didn't line up my mask perfectly. So I'm just going to take a dark blue marker and just fill in those spots and no one will ever know. So I'm just kind of finding a color to match that ink color and just coloring right around them and it looks perfect. Now that all of my coloring and sky creating is all done, I need to adhere this into the pocket. And I'm actually going to use some score tape because it, the paper was a little warped after heat embossing it, so I thought some nice strong tape would be great for holding it into the pocket. And so I'm just going to line that up right in the center, and you'll see just how cute it looks. And as you close the pocket, it's just beautiful. And now I'm going to take that 1 8 inch score tape and go around that opening, peel that all up, and now it's time to layer our acetate piece on top. So I'm going to layer that right on top and when the lines look the thinnest, you'll see I'm moving it back and forth. Once everything looks like it's lined up really well, I'll use that post-it note tape to hold it in place. 
And then that way, all I need to do is close it like a book and it's gonna pick up that acetate piece in the perfect position. So I'm gonna push down really well and then I can lift up and my window has been created and all I need to do is just remove those little post-it note pieces. I've cut my track from that same Blue Jay cardstock that I cut in my pocket and I'm going to layer some score tape on all three edges and on both sides. I'm going to take my pull tab and insert it into the pocket and move it back and forth to make sure it's moving really well. I will then use it as the guide as to where to line up my track, but I'm not going to close this thing just yet because we want to decorate. So first I'm going to close the pocket but not seal it, and then I'm going to line up my sentiment where I think it would look nice in the window. Open that pocket and now I can stamp it in the perfect place on that tab. So I'm going to stamp that just like that. And then we're gonna add a little decoration to this tab. So I'm gonna take some peacock ink and just sponge the outside and top edges, but not the bottom, because that's where the critters are gonna be. And so you'll see I'm just using a nice light hand, just adding a little bit of something, just so it's not a plain white tab. It's really fun to decorate the tab too. That's kind of like the stepped up version that we're doing here now. And then I'm also gonna stamp some cute little stars in that same Blue Jay ink so that it all kind of coordinates. Now that we've decorated this whole tab, we can get to assembling this great thing. So we're gonna put that tab inside of it again, pull it all the way through, and then we're gonna peel off that liner tape and close it just like a book, just like we did before. I love how easy it lines up, and all you need to do is just press down really, really well. And now we've got a magic color slider that also has this kind of sky reveal and a sentiment included on it too. Now I'm going to take some paper here from Pint Size Patterns and I'm going to sponge the edges of this paper with Peacock Ink too, just so that it all coordinates since everything's kind of got this sponged edge thing going on. And then I'm going to take that same Peacock Ink and just color in some white cardstock here because I'm going to use one of those little tabs that we saw at the beginning that are for decorating it. And so I'm going to cut that out of that same kind of Peacock sponge ink so that it all coordinates add some adhesive to the back of it. And I love that it's a nice subtle way to tell someone that they're supposed to pull it. I just really love that little arrow. Now here I'm going to create a card base, which we can then adhere that little sponged pattern paper onto. And then we're gonna adhere this whole little magic slider pocket on top. And now you're gonna see how, just it's just so cool. I just love it, oh my gosh. I hope you guys just freak out as much as I do. So I just sit here and play with these on my desk because it just makes me happy. Anytime you need a cheer up, just keep one on your desk and just play with it because it is just so much fun. And I love how this one has the same concept of the giraffe one, but by decorating the tab, we've added kind of a cool extra element to it. Now next up, we're gonna use the magic color slider to be more of like a reveal. So there's not gonna be acetate or stamping, it's gonna be really cool. So we're gonna cut the pocket there, I'm lining up the heart on the side that has that extra little tab of metal. So I know that's the front of my pocket. And I'm gonna cut out that cute heart. And then I'm going to fold my pocket over and use my pencil to create some lines so that I know where to add my color. So I'm making my lines just a little bit below the point and above the top of the heart. Now I'm just going to take some markers here and really easily create this rainbow blend. So I'm going to start with my purple at the bottom and you'll see I keep folding the pocket to make sure I like how it's looking. And then I'm going to add my dark pink at the top. So I'm adding another line until I think it looks really good. And now I have my outside edges that are going to help me blend them. So here you'll see I go with one and kind of blend over the other. So add some green, add some turquoise again, add some yellow, add some green. Just kind of keep going back and forth between all of the different colors, connecting them all to create this really cool and fun rainbow heart. Now I've added my score tape to either side of my U-shaped pocket and I've lined it up with the tab there just like we've done in the other ones. And then I'm going to lift up that, that tape there without adding any acetate because we don't need acetate this time because there's no stamped image. So this is a really quick and easy way to create a magic slider. Now I went ahead and colored another rainbow piece and I'm going to die cut the hello that's included in this set from that and now I have this really cool rainbow hello that I'm just going to add a little bit of glue there with a glue pen to the back and just layer that right onto my card. Now I'm going to use the push here set, the pull here from the push here stamp set and just lay that right on top. Trim down some guava cardstock and create a little card base for that guava cardstock. And now I can layer everything. And this is so quick and easy to do, but it really packs a lot of punch. So we're going to layer all of our pieces. 
And then you're going to see how cool this is. This might be one of my favorite ones to play with, honestly. And I'm really excited about making a lot of them for my friends. So I'm going to pull up that tab there and reveal the rainbow heart. And then you can push that back in and you'll see how cool it is. And I just love that you could use it even to reveal a sentiment on the inside of the heart. So you don't even have to do the color necessarily. You can really use this as either a color reveal or maybe even a sentiment reveal too. So here are the three different types of magic sliders that we created today. We've got our first giraffe one where we just did some fun coloring. Then we created a cool sky and we decorated the tab to make this really cool reveal. And then on this one, we didn't use any stamping at all. We actually just did some quick coloring for a kind of a different and fun and quick and easy way to use this die. Now our design team has done some incredible stuff with this die. Elise created this really cool gender reveal magic color slider that I think is just so clever. And then Audrey's pulls to reveal the awesome shark there with the Donna, Donna, which I just think is just so cute and clever. I love it so much. Yeah, Inez is so cute because when you pull it, it reveals the treasure, which is kind of shown in the sentiment, which I think is really, really cool. So I love the awesome scene that she created and how you're kind of waiting to see what the pirate is pointing to. I love Shari's here because the sentiment is stamped on the outside, but you get the really fun reveal of the crab in the center. And then I love how Elena's cute little moose ends up wearing the glasses. I think that's just so clever. It's too fun. And then Letitia's card does this great reveal of this beautiful scene. And then it's kind of this surprising sentiment with the sweet girl is on the way. And then Nicole's shark scene is so fun. Those little googly eyes are hilarious. And I love how everything colors in. It's just beautiful. And then Lynette created this really cool sky. So when you pull it, it reveals all of those fun smiling clouds and the really bright plane. So I cannot wait to see what kind of magic color sliders you guys create. I am just waiting to see what kind of cool things you do. So thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day.